So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there's a really cool tab up here that's uh, called Substance, and it helps you attach uh, texture material files from Substance Painter uh, straight into Maya all in one go. And um, I found that you don't need the textures or materials to be from Substance. You can just use, you know, any labeled textures. And uh, it's just like a really fast way to apply the materials. So um, I am going to import a model that I have, uh, just a basketball here. And it's an FBX and it comes in without the textures. I got it off of CG Trader. I love CG Trader. Um, I have some stuff posted up there as well. Um, but for when I need something really quick, they're great. Um, so yeah, this basketball also came with a bunch of texture files and I have put them in um, the folder here. Uh, these are the ones that came from CG Trader and you can pull them directly onto uh, your object um, instead of applying them one by one. But I just want to point out that if they're not labeled base color, b-ball metallic, b-ball normal, um, if they don't have the right naming conventions, it's not going to work. So if I... Uh, name them textures one two three four that that will not it will not know where to pull from so just make sure they're labeled correctly um now to apply the textures just go to this three three uh little box to material thing and you'll get this pop-up you're working in arnold you're going to select multiple maps and we're going to go into where the textures are so right here we've got all of them you should you just uh shift select all of them and then select and they get put into their respective um, little categories here based on their naming convention. So metallic, roughness, normal, base color. They need those words. Uh, we didn't have an ambient occlusion for this one or height or emissive. So those can just be skipped. Uh, and then we just apply. Now, it doesn't look like anything has happened, and it hasn't because the material was created, but it wasn't directly applied to the object just yet. So we're going to right click, and we're gonna go down to assign existing, because now this material exists, and it's going to be an AI standard surface. And since I already have uh, one, I had a different one I, I worked on before, it's the newest AI standard surface that exists. So the number three in this case, but if I had, three already, it would be number four, five, six. So just your most recent AI standard surface and right off the bat, it shows up. If it doesn't, just push six on your keyboard and it should show up. And look at that, it looks great. Uh, and let's do a quick rendering. I've already set up the lighting and um, you'll get this converting sign. It's just getting all the image files um, applied and it just doo -doo -doo, takes a moment and here we are. Very pretty, look at that. You've got the texture, the shine, it's all there. And it was so fast, so much better than making your own material. Um, so highly recommend that you guys check this out and uh, use it whenever you can, okay? Thanks guys, see you later.